gentlemen, boys and girls. So today we are going to do a review of the Tier 9, the 50 TP. I'm not even going to try. <laughs> I'm not even going to try and pronounce that, uh, the last name. We'll just call it the 50 TP. Uh, anyways, initial thoughts. This is my first match. Yeah, well, the armor is all uh, iffy. Um... This front plate is just straight up and down. It's got barely, I mean, it's got some slope this way, but obviously it's just straight up and down. It reminds me of the Churchill, kind of like the Churchill, how it's got the tracks that stick out, and the uh, turrets, or the turret, the uh, front hall is just flat. Uh, I haven't reviewed, uh, I had to take my mods off, by the way, too. The replay I had of the Tier 5 where it was really bad ping, um, and I kept driving around circles and stuff. So, took the mod pack off, works beautiful now. I've had that issue before, and I don't know, it's one of the mods in the mod pack that's messing it up. So I just took off the whole thing. Uh, versus taking one off, trying to play a match. Taking one off, trying to play a match. I've only got, like, I used the Paintball mod, XVM. Oh, and uh, DG Sight mod. So basically three mods. What I'll do is I'll wait a uh, week, a couple days, week, till a newer patch or new version comes out, and then I'll try it again. But, uh, yeah, so unfortunately I don't have my Paintball mod on here to see exactly where they're hitting me during the replay. But I imagine this front is it's just a big flat chunk. Um, seems like it's not too hard for an append. Uh, I did shoot all premium rounds in that match. Uh, it does have okay standard round pen for at yeah, 250. Uh, it's a lot like the IS-7 uh, gun. But... With what they had for enemies on that team, I wasn't going to be like coming around a corner with, I've got a really good crew in this. Um, what I did is they had a deal where you could buy, it was a gold package with credits, and, excuse me, and uh, it came with a crew for the tier 2, 3, the 45, T, the TP45 or something like that. And uh, it just happened to be four crew members, so I just took them and put them in this. Which was nice, because it gave me instantly Brothers in Arms, uh, or excuse me, six cents and Brothers in Arms on the Commander, and some uh, started out the third one for repair. And, you know, I'd used uh, Brothers in Arms all the way through, save stowage, so, you know, some of the ones that you have to wait till it's 100%, and especially Brothers in Arms. That was a big, huge help to get the stats a little bit better on this, because, to be honest with you, it, it says that the gun does... 560 average damage, which is good, but to stock, it's like a 17, I think like a 15, 16 second load time. I mean, that's the E100 load time. Um, and I've got it down to 13.5, which I think my E100 is, um, well, let's just take a peek. I think my E100 is actually pretty close to that. I know my Moss, where the hell? Oh, it's all tier 9s, no wonder. I'm like, where's my tier 10s? Um, let's find it real quick. Alright, so, E100. That's 16.51, but you're getting 650 average damage. You're doing, uh, what was that again? Uh, 560 average damage on this one? Uh, which is still good, don't get me wrong, but, yeah, 560. So, uh, I guess that's a I guess that's a fair load time. It just it just seems kind of got awful long. But I didn't want to come around a corner when the enemy team had two T95s, um, just a whole bunch of real heavy armored stuff, and has to have 250 bouncing off them all day long. Especially when you're trying to go through the commander's hatch of the T95, um, just just everything they had pretty much. But um, so far, just my, it's my first match. It's a tier 10, or excuse me, tier 10. Tier, it was all tier 9s. Um, excuse me, if I said this was the tier 10, I'm at tier 9. Um, so, it, it is slow. Speed-wise, it's nothing, you know, super good. Aim time, pretty long. I mean, and I've got Brothers in Arms, Gun Rammer, uh, Vertical Stabs, um, what else? Oh, and... Uh, 
distorted optics. I've got a hell of a good crew in this. And the aim time is almost still three seconds. Uh, the turret traverse is slow. Hull traverse, I mean, it's a heavy, but it, it really feels, for, for its weight, it feels more like a super heavy. But anyway, so let's go over this real quick uh, and get the stats out to you. So, uh, the gun stock is 3.75 rounds a minute. 250 standard pen, which is AP. 303, which is APCR. Thank goodness. Uh, and 68 for HE. 560 average damage with your standard your premium. 700 for HE. Average damage per minute, 2100. Dispersion, 0. 0.4. You'd think I was shooting a freaking artillery. Uh, aim time, 3 seconds. So stock. Gun handling sucks. Um, even with the crew I have in this with Brothers in Arms. You know, I'm actually, if I don't get it set on fire in a couple matches, I'm going to put food on this too to help out. Because the gun handling really is not that good. Uh, the armor is nothing really to write home about either. Um, so, my rate of fire is 4.44 rounds a minute. 13.5 second reload. Turret traverse, 27.73. So it's pretty slow. And same for the traverse speed of the hull, 27.73. Uh your gun elevation, gun depression, negative 8, good. 20 uh, to the elevation, good. So the up and down is, you know, pretty darn good. I wish it were 10, but, you know, you, you get what you get. Um, aim time, just, just horribly, just long, 2.81 seconds. I mean, if you're up around 3 seconds on any gun, you know, that's just, I mean, like, what do we got here? 2.29, uh, 2.18. 2.34 and this one you go to almost three seconds you know 2.81 and that's with a very good crew in this so yeah the aim time is pretty bad uh dispersion really isn't that much better 0 0.38 I'm, I'm, i mean with brothers in arms um you know a really good crew you would think that that dispersion would be a lot better at least three five three six which still really isn't that good but three eight I mean, you're flipping talking about, like, an artillery. <laughs> I mean, serious. Um, average damage per minute, 2489. Hit points, 2000. Armor, you get uh, 120 in the front on the hull, which, like I said, this is a big, just one big flat shoot-me-here slab. Uh, you get your, your driver port. Nothing, I mean, it's just big shoot-me-here, shoot-me-here, shoot-me-up-here, shoot-me-here. Um, so, yeah, it's... Armor is not, you can't count on it. It's not like an IS-7 armor where, you know, you'll be like, oh, wow, I can't believe that bounced. Oh, cool, I bounced that. Um, the only saving grace you have is if you, you know, come around a corner like this, they think they're going to shoot through your uh, front wheel, your front uh, drive wheel, road wheel there, or sprocket, and uh, they go right through it because there's nothing on the other side. You know, it's just a big nothing, no hitbox or anything. And I think that happens to me when one of the T95 shoots me. I come around the corner, shoots me through the front here, thinking, Pro he probably thought, oh, yeah, I got this dude. Shoots me through the front drive wheel there, sprocket, and there's nothing on the other side, so it just knocks your track off. That is nice, um, but, you know, who wants to go around where you're giving them your front drive sprocket to, you know, get shot off, then be permatracked, and just have them finally figure out, well, I can't pin them there. And they back up a little bit and start putting them right through your front lower plate. I don't even consider it. That doesn't even have a lower plate, really. I mean, you've got your upper plate, you have the front, and then you have the bottom. I mean, it's just one big flat slab of shoot me here steel. Um, yeah, so the front of this is just, nah. <laughs> um, turret, 230 in the front, which... I mean, if you don't want to sit still on this thing at all. Uh, when you stop, if there's enemies in front of you, even remotely think there is, wiggle back and forth unless you're hiding behind a bush or something because that commander's hatch right there um, is, you know, it sticks up pretty good. It's not too hard to hit. And I think, yeah, I was going to say the other one, eh, a little bit harder to hit with that, the machine gun and mount it up on it. They're trying to get a good view of it, but. Yeah, well, that commander's hatch definitely easy to hit. On the side, you have 90 on the hull and 160 on the turret. So, very good side scraper. Um, yeah, I think side scraper might work out pretty good at it. And in the rear, you got 60 on the hull, 100 on the turret. And it is angled on the uh, hull, so um, 
it's got better angling on the hull. I mean, look at that. You got actually a front uh, upper upper plate and a lower plate. <laughs> I mean, maybe I'll start driving this thing in reverse. Serious. I mean, at least you got you know some angling there, which obviously is going to help versus one big flat slab. Oh, you know, I just it's a bummer because you work so hard to get the experience to buy them, and then you get them, and that's why I do this so that. I can save you the heartache of spending, you know, hundreds of hours or, you know, a couple hundred dollars out of your savings account or, um, you know, all the experience that you might want to save for a different tank. I don't have the tier 10 yet, um, and, but we're going to take a look at that after we do the quick review of this. So, uh, anyway, so weight, it is 50.59 tons, so it is pretty heavy. It's not, you know moss heavy but it's it's halfway there <laughs> engine power 650 your specific power to weight is not really good at 12 i mean it's almost 13 but well i guess in a heavy tank that's all right but uh you know the higher number the better i wish it were more like 18 but as my mom used to say why in this hand and poop in this one and see which one gets the fullest that was our answer when we were a kid when we said can we get a pack of bubble gum or something at the checkout <laughs> Uh, top speed and forward is 35 and reverse is 14. I wish reverse was also 20 to get you out of a little pickle now and then. Uh, 14 is just like you're creeping back. 20, I know it doesn't sound like a lot, but it, may, it does make a difference. And 35 and forward, you're not going to win any races with this tank by any means. Um, concealment is 7.42, so almost 8. Mm, that's a heavy, what do you expect? View range, I did use coated optics, is 427. I think without uh, the coated optics, it was like 380. Uh, it was, a, yeah, I'm pretty sure it was 380. And signal range is 715. I noticed one thing about this whole new tech tree or new line uh, Polish tanks. They're blind as a bat. Very, very, very blind. You're going to need coated optics on every one of your uh, Polish tanks. Um, what? Oh, that was right. I never noticed that when I held it over the HE. It says, uh, you know, it says firepower, and it shows, whoops, uh, that red. Uh, I've never, I've just never noticed that. Or negative 238 if you use HE. <laughs> well, let's, let's see if I do this one. Uh, I guess I just never noticed that before. Interesting. I bet you something that's got really good, uh, like, let's look at the, uh, yeah, look at that, green. Oh, it doesn't show the standard HE, just the uh, premium. Yeah, you got green on that, plus 64 uh, versus, what was this one, negative, negative 238. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, your HE shell's only got 68 pen, but, you know, that's just to kind of dig somebody out if they're, uh, oh, and you don't get a lot of shells in this thing either. Um, any of these, really. I got 16 AP, 12 AP CR, and 2 heat. Um, so... Yeah, was that 30 shells? Yeah, about 30 shells. I mean, you can go through 30 shells pretty darn quick. So, you really got to make your shots count in these uh, tanks also. Uh, let's look at the tier um, 10 real quick. So I'm interested to see if I'm going to waste 186,000 credits on this, if it's got the same fucking front end. No, see, that's actually got... See, I wish... Oh, I so wish the front end on the tier 9 were like this. Um... I mean, that is a lot better. Look at the the lower plate. It's still a lower, you know, it's still at least got a lower plate. It's not just flat, and it's not super easy to hit from distance. And look at that upper plate. Very nice sloping. You know, you're going to get some good bounces on that. Some really good bounces. Uh, and then your turret, you don't have, well, you've got this one. I don't know if they're, I wonder if they put a hitbox in that or not. Because it's a commander's hatch, but... The commander's hatch is sunk in underneath the uh, the actual viewports. Because if you look, you can see the viewports go around and the, the hatches. See, that's one of those types where the hatch, uh, when you open it, goes down and inside the tank. I would almost guarantee it. Um, yeah, where most of them, you pop them out and they open on the outside. That one goes down and in, so the commander doesn't have to stick his head all the way out. He can just look through this here. Uh, for uh, you know, somebody shooting at you with uh, small arms machine gun fire or something, he can look through those little ports, uh, you know, without popping his head out, getting his head shot off. But yeah, at least this one's got nice sloping and it doesn't have a big 
clump of straight up and down flat, you know, armor. That just, I mean, they just, they're going to go right through that big chunk of straight up and down. Uh, I'll have to look how thick it is in armor, Inspector, but, uh, you know, 120 frontal armor, I don't know if they're considering it that this here, or if they're considering it like that, this, this part here, like your upper, I guess you'd say upper plate. Or is that like right here where the driver is? You know, I really got to look at armor inspector and see what it says. But anyways, uh, yeah, so this one's kind of iffy. Um, I would almost, I would really almost save your credits and, uh, you know, just free, free research this one. Uh, instead of grinding through this one to get to tier 10, just, uh, you know, if you got a bunch of experience, free research over this and go right to the tier 10. Because this front end is going to be a massive, you know, that's a, that's a deal breaker for me. Um, I really wish I would have looked at this prior. I mean, I was still would have bought it probably, but that, that, would, that does make a big difference whether or not it's going to be worth a crap or not. It's like, you know, you can see where the this is rounded right here. It's like, you know, do they break the armor off? <laughs> is, is, it, is it busted or something? <laughs> it's like, Jesus, I'm criminy. I wish that were there, though. Because that piece right there makes the front of this worth a crap or not worth a crap. It literally looks like it was busted off. But anyways, we're going to hold on for a minute. I'll have some uh, gameplay for you and uh, some post-game. Well, actually, uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and do that. So I'll be right back. All right, all righty. Why does it not sound like I can hear myself? Well, hopefully it's recording. Did I shut it off? Uh, nope, I didn't. So, anyways, <laughs> duh. So I've never. This is my first video I've ever done on uh, YouTube. So we here we find ourselves on Mountain Pass in the uh, new 50 TP Polish tank. Um, this is, I got looking at the enemy team, what they had, and really this made my mind up, because a lot of times I do love going down, um, excuse me, holy crap, I ate chili earlier, it's biting back, um, I like going down Ice Road, because a lot of people don't go that way, so you can a lot of times get a lot more damage by going this way, if only a couple people go this way, because you can get shots up here, you can get shots up here and you know across this way so you know it's a it's a really good position the only drawback is if only two or three of you go well if only two of you go that way you can get really just hammered because a lot of times some mediums will come this way or they'll come down this way and head right over here and next thing you know you got three or four mediums and then you'll have you know tank destroyer shooting from up here so it can turn around and bite you in the butt but i decided i wanted to go over this way to the J3 area because when I saw they had a uh, well us too but a plethora of tank destroyers especially T95s and I was assuming that the T95s would probably go up here because there's no artillery in the game that would be an optimal spot for them to set because they're at a distance and also the commander's hatch will be up high so you can't shoot it um, you know if a T90, we don't even have a T95 on our team, do we? No. So, just say this is a T95. You're facing straight on. It's got those two commander's hatches. Boom, you can hit it. If you are setting down like this because you're down here, well, guess what? There's no boom because you can't hit it. So, I, I just assume they would probably go this way. And, um, nope, I was wrong. I think, they, if I remember right, they kind of set it right at their cap. Um... I think one actually went over here to the bridge, and the other one, he might have went this way, because I ended up uh, getting a shot at him at their cap towards the end of the match. But you can see that this is not a fast, heavy, well, I mean, it's a heavy tank, but it is definitely not fast by any means at all whatsoever. Um, yeah, we're catching some speed here. We're up to 30. 34, I believe, was the top speed. So we're, we're maintaining 34, 35. So at least it'll get to its top speed and hold it, you know, at a decent speed. I mean, it's a good-looking tank, but looks don't win you matches. I mean, look at the Leopard. I love the way the Leopard looks, but that thing has got paper-thin armor and everything goes through you. It's got a great gun, but still, you know, I don't like playing tanks that I know that no matter what, 
I'm going to be penetrated, you know, especially when artillery hits you um, now, and they still do a gazillion damage because, well, you, you have no armor. Um, looks like their MX 1390 got taken out by our 54 Lightweight. So kudos to our 54 Lightweight. He went up there and just pounded him. Um, but you can see they had a medium go here. Looks like, let's just pause it just real quick. And I'll try not to do this a whole lot. Well, that's as big as my map gets. I thought it went bigger. Huh. Well, anyways, go smaller. We'll keep it right about there. Uh, so, standard B went up ice road, 54E1. I think a uh, there's a tank destroyer over there. It's a 263. 54, uh, T55A. Um, T54 came over here. And I decided I'm just going to play it safe because I have no clue where those um, T95s are. And I didn't want to roll around the corner and lose, you know, 1,500 of my health. And something just shot at, unless our, it might have been our 704 shooting. I thought somebody shot at him. But, yeah, I didn't want to roll around the corner and lose, you know, 1,500 of my health or more by having those guys double tap me. So, basically, I'm just going to kind of play it safe, use my turret armor and my gun depression to just kind of peek over the nice thing was again uh, no artillery so you can take that you take your time um, you know kind of relax if you get spotted whoop de do um, you know because you don't have artillery breathing down your neck that you know if you just sit there for more than five seconds you're gonna have an early round coming up your butt well our standard B got a little over zealous there and he just Decided to push, but I got a shot in the conquer on this keister, and um, looks like we lost lost him just a second ago. Our standard B is right there. What did we lose? Skoda T50, a T50, oh two T54 is in our Skoda T50. Looks like our mediums uh, took more bit off more than they could chew. So 54 T54 is shooting gold. Actually, I think every tank over here was shooting premium rounds, so I, it didn't bug me. Oh, he's 75. He was the one, I think, that did shoot standard um, standard rounds. But you can see with my premium rounds, when I was aiming at his upper slash, even part of his lower plate, it was still orange, which is only a 50-50 chance of going through. And this is 303 pen. Okay, now here in a minute, I'm going to say it was my ping that caused me to drive up this rock <laughs> or, or I, think, <laughs> I think it was this match it was so oh, these rocks I, I was trying to get a shot at that T-54E1 down there so I'm not paying attention here let's watch I'm not paying attention to where I'm going and I'm like yeehaw I'm like what in the hell did I just do <laughs> but uh, I was like how are they shooting him I, there's, the hill comes out a little bit more so um, they were able to get shots on him. Hey, I never said I'd drive tanks very well. Play the game good, but, you know, driving driving them is another story. But, uh, yeah, we're pushing over these guys. Um, it's not, we're not rolling right over them. It's still pretty even. Um, the M103 pushes down in. It looks like he took a shot at, I thought he was going to kill that uh, T-54E1, but he wasn't. So I'm like, screw it, I'll take him out for him. I wasn't going to have him just, I wasn't going to drive by and let him get one, either two more shots into our M103 or start shooting me in my side. Now, if you've noticed, one T95 was spotted here and the other one was spotted down here. So I know this, or at least one T95 is probably around here somewhere and the WZ111 GFT, which hits for 750 average, I think it's 750 average damage or 650 average damage, something like that. And the Waffle PZ4, which hits for like 750 average damage. <laughs> and sure enough, lo and behold, but I've got all my hit points, so I thought, screw it, I can take a couple hits. Um, the Yag Tiger hits me for... Um, 594 with a premium round the t95 i'm gonna pause it just real quick hit me and i think i know he knocked my track off i'm tr yeah see this is why i really like having my uh, mod pack on here because i have no flipping clue pull through here real quick yeah i can't even for the it looked like oh maybe i don't know i see it looked like something skidded off right here 
maybe that was that might have been the T95 round but um, is that oh maybe that's uh, is that a that's a bullet hole right there you see I've always used my mod pack so that you see a big purple marker or whatever or orange or red or green so that must have been where the um, Yag Tiger put it right through my turret see the turrets on these new tanks really are not anything yeah that's got to be it they're not anything too spectacular um, they're 200 and I think it's 230 or something like that. So yeah, like uh, a premium round that's got a higher pen, like from the Yag Tiger uh, T95 premium round, it probably goes through my turret. Uh, Yagzilla. So yeah, you can't count on this turret by the looks of it at all. So I'm gonna aim at the uh, T95's commander satch. We hit him for 579. Whatever. Oh yeah, our M103 got taken out. And I just keep aiming for his commander's hatch. I take a shot and he turns just as I shoot, so I shot between it. Yag Tiger takes out our median there, so I'm like, screw it, I'm gonna push. I you know I got my I got all my hit points, so I can take a little bit of some risky moves. Um, I, at first I started backing up, I'm like, oh hell with it, I'm just gonna go ahead and push. Should have rammed him. But I want to at least try and get him backing up this way. And then I'm just going to continue on and head down. Because the Waffle PZ-4 was lit up here. And uh, obviously he's not there anymore. So I was thinking he's probably down here somewhere. I was hoping to run into him. And I saw the T-95 down there. So I figured, well, I'm going to at least boogie down here. Hopefully get some more damage. Um, and try and at least break 3,000 damage. But, uh, you know, you got to weigh your pros and cons. It still was pretty close. They do have four very dangerous uh, tank destroyers that hit for, you know, 650, 750 per, per one. And they are pretty much, uh, all of them but the PZ-4 there are, well, are very well armored. Um, so, Yahoo, we break 3,000 damage, 3183. And I know that T95, I was assuming he's probably right around the corner. Sure enough, he was. And this is where his lovely gun dispersion sucks. Shrunk all the way in. And it looked like it actually went over. We hit by an AP round from the uh, uh, 1995. And it just knocked my track off. And he actually went right through there. Like the, uh, huh, that's pretty crazy. That's like, um, like your drive gear, I would imagine. And all it did was hit and knock my track off. Uh, it must have hit like right there and shot, I bet you shot out the other side. Uh, I wish you got, I wish you could zoom in better, uh, on your tank. But yeah, that's exactly what happened. It just shot right through there. And apparently there's no hitbox in the gearbox there. And uh, looks like it just went in and out. But yeah, so uh, gun dispersion on this can definitely bite you in the butt like it did. It was getting named in here. And I thought, yeah, I'm going to get a shot. And sure enough, I did not. But we won. So yippee skippy. And we did a pretty good amount of damage first match. Um, yeah, so I was pretty happy. Anyways, if you want to hold on for a minute, I will have some post-game stats for you, so I will be right back. Ta-da! So, here are the post-game stats on that. We did bounce a couple rounds. Um, like I said, I don't have my paintball mod on here, so um, I'll have to really kind of point out, and hopefully, I'll try not to stop it a whole bunch, but if I get hit in the front, I kind of really want to see how well it handles, uh, you know, any rounds hitting that big flat spot there. Um, but anyway, so it was a Master Badge Class 3 and a Fire for Effect. Uh, it seemed like I was getting some, I don't know, it's a, to me it seemed like I was getting some low rolls. But, uh, yeah, so the, oh, I got a semi in front of me pulling out. So the, uh, Conquer, we hit him one time for 535, and I think it was 5, what, 540 average? 560 average damage, and that was a... Five, yeah, so, yeah, it was a low roll, 535, 560 average damage, so, yeah, it seemed like I was getting some low rolls. Uh, did his fuel tank, E75, 504, another low roll, um, knocked out his engine, bounced one of his rounds for 490, 
T54, 545, another low roll. And bounce when it hits rounds for 320. 54E1, well, 79 finished him off and uh, knocked out a loader, or knocked out his loader. Yag Tiger, 567. So we finally got uh, a decent roll because 560 average damage. So seven above the standard or average damage. Um, and knocked out his engine and we spotted him originally. Object 263, we finished him off. I snuck around towards the bottom. I wish the guys would have got off cap. Uh, so I could have taken out that uh, T95 because I only got one shot at him and it was kind of a not really good aiming on my part. So um, I kind of flubbed it. Uh, but I would have been able to sit there and just whittle him down, shooting through his commander's hatch because he was just setting still. So, but we hit him for 374, finished him off, and the other T95 put around through his commander's hatch for 579. So, um, again, that was just a little bit higher than the uh, average damage, and we did bounce around from him for 750. Uh, we had second most damage at 3183, and we got two kills with a base experience of 898. Conquer had a good match. Yeah, it was all tier nines. And I did shoot all premium. Um, and I was getting shot by all premium, so I don't feel so bad. But we got 10 shots, 8 hits, 7 pen, 3,187 damage. Uh, we got hit 6 times, 2 pen, 4 bounced, and we got hit for some splash damage. So somebody was shooting me with 8 cheeks. I don't. There was no artillery in that match. I don't believe. Yep, there was no artillery. Um, so yeah, somebody was shooting HE. Uh, so we blocked 1,560 uh, with our armor. Spotted one, damaged seven, destroyed two, and lost 55,446 credits. Like I said, and I'll say it again, I don't play for credits. I play for results, for damage. And if it means that I'm going to have to shoot a lot of premium, uh, that's what I'll do. Uh, especially, like I said, with what they had, T95, Object 263, Yag Tiger. Uh, E75, Conquer, all very good, very well armored tanks. Um, 250, uh, they might have been able to, but I would much rather, I mean, and I still bounced, um, you know, two rounds, or wait, no. Direct, oh, so, so we shot 10, hit 8, so he bounced only one. I was thinking I bounced two. Um, yeah, so... Uh, I mean, to each their own, but, you know, I think every shot I got, I think maybe I got hit one time by a standard round, but otherwise, I think every round they hit me was a premium round. Even the T95s, which they got hella pen on those things, and they were shooting premium, or at least I know one of them did. Um, I don't know if the one, I think it was the one, jeez, I can't remember. One of them hit me, though, with a premium round. But, um, you know, it does look nice. I mean, it's a nice-looking tank. Um, I was really kind of contemplating putting this, uh, this Gamecoms, uh, camo on there. It looks pretty nice, that blue. I like the blue. Make it look, make it look nice. But, uh, yeah, I didn't want to pay 1750 uh, gold, you know, to get that. Even though I did put it on one of my other tanks. Um, they do have a preset up one for seven uh, seventy five thousand. That it's one of those rental ones. It gets you. You can use it for what is it, ten games or something or other. Um, I thought it said somewhere how many. It says oh, hundred battles. Duh. Uh, which I would rather have it go per battle versus like thirty days. Because what happens? You put it on that tank and you only play that three. You know, play that tank three times in. A two week period or whatever it was when you the way they used to do it well you just wasted that money really and at least this way you get a hundred battles so you know if you do a battle a day in that tank you got that camo on it for a hundred days and then the standard you can put on there is this black widow which looks a lot like the camo that I put on on it yeah it looks just like <laughs> the camo I put on mine let's see let's see what it Yeah, no different. Well, anyways, um, I thought I put, um, what the heck? Oh, because I put uh, remove. Never mind. As I say, I thought I put uh, the American emblem in the, my uh, old unit, 10th Bound Division, was, uh, it was two swords crossed like that. That was a 10th Bound Division. And there's a, 
cab over uh, over to said uh, 10th Mountain. It's uh, really cool. So I saw this, and um, I've never noticed this one before. I'm like, oh, cool. That's just like our uh, sword crossed in our, uh, my old unit, our old, uh, old military unit I was in. But anyways, if you want to hold on for a minute, I will, uh, oh, no, wait, I'm sorry. That was post-game stats, right? Yeah, so, yeah, screw you. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> anyways, I hope you enjoyed this match. If you did, please click the like button down below and subscribe to the channel. You guys take it easy, be safe, and I will see you on the battlefield.